worldwide studies, especially in Canada and the US, show that 67% of line of duty firefighters die from cancer. Yet, if you go to Europe, and specifically in the UK, there are almost non-existing studies in that subject. The main aim of the project we do is to look at contamination issues and uh, approaches and the contamination methods. The project was commissioned by the Fire Brigades Union. That led to the creation of the Firefighters Cancer and Disease Registry. The main aim is to identify link between firefighters exposure to the occupational cancer. If we do not have firefighters participating, we will be not able to provide preventative health screening, support educational information that will actually be directly related to UK firefighters' health. Fire produces two different groups of fire effluents. Acute toxicants, which would have immediate effect and single exposure, something like carbon monoxide, hydrogen cyanide. But fire will also produce chronic toxicants. Chronic toxicants is usually low concentrations of toxicants, but are produced in every single fire or most of the fires. And the best example would be polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. That's your polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. So if you look at the soot, as you can see, there are tiny particulates just absorbed on the walls. So you can imagine how easy that would be to inhale. And the other uh, intake of those toxins will be through the dermal intake, which is through the skin absorption. So if you're sweating, your temperature body increase, anything what you've got on the surface, the dermal intake of absorption through the skin would be increased. Some of the studies suggested that if you've got body temperature increase of five degrees, there is in dermal intake increase by 400%. Once you've got those toxins in a system, some of them will be eliminated, but some of them, because of the big structure that they've got, chemical structure that they have, they will be stored in fat and tissue. And within the years, when you build up all of them, they will deliver and lead to a cancer. The first really dominant cancer is the skin cancer, which indicates that skin is not necessarily protected and therefore most of the toxicants are taken through the dermal intake. My main message to firefighters would be please be aware of contaminants. Keep in mind that even if you cannot see them, they will be still there during and few hours after the fire.